Hey guys, so it's about time to uh, go ahead and do a room tour. And we offer two different kinds of suites in Founders Hall. It's suite style living instead of uh, the traditional uh, community style living that you see in a lot of residence halls. So we offer two different kinds of suites, like I said. I live in the two person suite, which means uh, we have a suite. Uh, me and my roommate each get our own bedroom and then we share a bathroom and a little tiny common room and uh, The six person suites there's three bedrooms So two people to a room and they get a very large common room uh, Two bathrooms basically half baths So it's like a toilet a sink and a mirror and then a shower room. That's basically just your shower cubicle uh, your sink and your mirror um, I lived in both of these suites. I lived in a six-person suite last year and I live in a two-person suite this year and honestly I like both of them. Uh, they both have their pros and cons uh, but this year I'm living in a two-person suite uh, so let's go ahead and check out the room. So right over here is my door. As you can see I have a poster on it. Uh, tip number one, bring some decorations for your room. A lot of college dorms tend to be very small and bland um, and bringing decorations can really make your room feel like home. Right over here I just have some water, a pennant, um, this is where I keep all of my dishes and such, all of my cups, bowls, plates, I have silverware in that uh, container back there, and this is where I put all of my dirty dishes uh, before I wash them. I have a mini fridge that has a uh, fridge compartment and a freezer compartment. I really like this one, um, it's really nice. Here I keep a couple of my snacks, vitamins, popcorn, hot chocolate all of that good stuff. Definitely keep some snacks in your dorm. Uh, if there's ever a time when you're hungry and you really don't feel like actually going out and getting food, uh, for sure get some snacks uh, to keep in your space that you can just grab. Right up on this top shelf I have some extra stuff, paper plates, jars, uh, there's my dishwashing stuff, um, some filters for my Brita, all of that. Uh, right over here I have my three drawer dresser. So Right here I have like some books, uh, my Polaroid, some of my jewelry, um, and this is where I keep, I keep a lot of my shirts in here, shorts, and medicine, toiletries, definitely bring a medicine box, they're really, really um, helpful, and keep all of your stuff together. So this little space right in here, um, there's my bed. But under my bed, um, I have what I call the troll hole. So it's just this cozy little nook that I made that has some pillows. That's my dog. I put a poster in there. Um, I have some pretty lights and such. Um, this big storage bin keeps all of the stuff that I don't use daily but use from time to time. And it keeps it out of the way, which is really nice. Um, that's my little bin of cleaning supplies and my yoga mat, um, my muscle roller, my ukulele, my charger. Right here, uh, definitely bring a laundry bag, super, super important. Right here, I have a three drawer of like some clothes and stuff like that, t-shirts, shorts, etc. Right in here, I kind of have my miscellaneous like duct tape, uh, toothpaste, a straightener, command hooks, all that kind of stuff. So right up here is my bed. I have this really big comfy body pillow, a blanket, um, I have some pillows by my bed, I have this tapestry that I absolutely love, um, I have some twinkly lights that I have hanging up, I have an absolutely beautiful view of campus. I really love my view. I'm up on the fourth floor so I'm up pretty high. Um, I have lots and lots of pictures. Uh, another tip, definitely bring lots and lots of photos from home if you ever get homesick and uh, you just want to think of your friends and family from back home, especially if you go really far away to college. Right over here I have this little shelf that I have a couple little mementos from home. I have my plants, I have my clock, that's me and my dog, some inspirational quotes. Um, another tip, definitely bring something uh, from your hometown. I bought this right before I left. So I'm from Cincinnati, obviously, um, and I like to look at it sometimes and it just reminds me of home. So right here, I have this hook where I have my hoodie, my keys, my gym bag, my purse, all of that stuff. This is a drying rack um, for my clothes. That's definitely an essential. Bring a drying rack because you are going to have clothes that you can't put in the dryer. This is another essential that I absolutely love. Um, this is where I keep 
um, all of my stuff that I want at night, like water bottle, magazine, journal, um, colored pencils. I keep my glasses right here. Um, it just hangs off the side of the bed so I don't have to like get up and get anything. Um, and if you happen to make your own troll hole or little nook under your bed, pool noodles taped to the bottom is super handy for if like you hit your head or anything. You're just going to hit your head on a pool noodle, so definitely pro tip. So here I have a big, big wall of all of my friends and family and my dogs. Um, and I really love this because I print out new photos every year and I add a couple new ones. Um, so it's pretty full right now, but you know. Um, this is my desk. I like to say this half is personal care and then this half is work, except for the toothpaste. <laughs> um, so I just keep all of my makeup in this little three drawer thing. Um, I keep all my brushes in there. This is a makeup mirror. I also have this little three drawer thing down here where I keep some personal care stuff like cotton balls and all that, you know, hair clips, nail polish remover. And then I keep a lot of like desk stuff in here, like here's a binder and a notebook, a ruler, some tape. Definitely bring a lamp for when you want to study at night, maybe your roommate's trying to sleep and you don't want to have the overhead light on, um, bring a lamp so you can study at your desk um, and they can sleep. I got this little marquee board. I think it's so cute and fun. Uh, right over here is my closet and my mirror. Hi. Here's what the closets look like. I have this closet organizer. Um, we have... I don't really keep a whole lot on that top shelf because I'm really short, but this is where I keep all of my shoes. Here's where I, I keep all of my clothes. Towels go down there, and then we have just some sweatshirts, some robes. So this is our common room area. Uh, right over here, this is our little uh, kitchenette. Down there we have all of our cleaning supplies. Uh, we have some little lanterns to make it cute, a microwave. Definitely bring a microwave if you can. We have some paper towels, ketchup and mustard, because, you know, essential. Um, we have cups, I have a tea kettle, uh, Girl Scout cookies, and we have a couple little photos to dress up the area. Right over here, we printed out our schedules and our cleaning schedule. Um, definitely do this if you're trying to stay organized and if you uh, need to know where your roommate is, you know, in case of an emergency, if you're just wondering where they are. Here is something that Lexi made. That's our initials, and we have a little clock. There's a recycling bin. There's Lexi. <laughs> right in here is our bathroom. So this is our shower curtain and a shower mat. That's our little towel rack for all of our towels, and we have hooks on the back of the door as well. We used a command hook to hang up uh, this little organizer inside of our shower, but we keep our shampoo and such in this three drawer thing right under the sink. Um, it's worked out pretty well for us and that's just, you know, straighteners, hair dryers, and stuff like that. This is our sink and our mirror. We have a scale in our bathroom. Here's our toilet, super glamorous, I know. So that was a quick look at the uh, two-person suite at Founders at BGSU. I really, really love it in here. Founders is actually my favorite residence hall. Um, it has a lot to offer. Founders is a really awesome residence hall. It's centrally located, and I'm really lucky that I get to call it home. So, bye guys.